Today, we're going to be covering the beginner's basic, the four pillars, the foundation of the actual ATM business. Right after that, we have a special guest. We're going to be covering how you can use traditional cash dispensing and Bitcoin ATMs to make five figures monthly. After that, I'm actually going to cover how you, yes, you right now, can start your business before 2023. And remember, it's already December 6th right now. We're gonna show you exactly how you can do that. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to this weekly live. It is what, December 6th, 2022, guys. Man, we are excited to have you here. Paul is not able to join, but today's gonna be an extra special live. First of all, guys, welcome. Guys, 2023 is almost around us. I appreciate you taking the time and you taking the first step for your financial freedom. So I want to know exactly where you guys are calling and when you guys are joining from. So I'm actually based out of Arizona right now. I'm traveling, but I had to be here for you guys. So comment below what city and state you guys are at right now. Okay. And after that, once you find out exactly where you're watching from, if you're watching this live, comment live. But if you're watching a replay, then comment replay, because at the end of the day, we will engage with you. We'll provide you all the free resources that you need, guys. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay. Calergy, Canada. That's what I'm talking about. We actually have a few clients in Canada that are launching their businesses. New Jersey, of course. Rincon, Georgia. What's up, Isaiah? Kimberly. Okay. Miami. Hey, we might be making the move next year to Miami, guys. So watch out. Dallas, Texas. Shout out Dallas, Texas. We're uh, Oakland Raider fans or Las Vegas Raider fans, but it, it's all right. We'll let you in here. Guys, guys. So today's going to be an extra special live. Comment below exactly where you guys are at, because at the end of the day, this helps us with the algorithms. And remember this, we want to reach as many people as possible because we're providing as much value as we can. There's enough out there for everybody. Imagine if we kept this to ourselves, you wouldn't be here. So pass this on to somebody else. Comment below, okay? Now, we actually have a special announcement. So this is this is very special, very close to my heart. So as you guys know, right, Paul and myself, law enforcement background. Paul's actually a retired de detective, and I was a law enforcement supervisor or a sergeant. So kids have a special place in our heart, all right? So last week, Paul actually asked me to find one of the most deserving charities that I could find that were focused solely on kids because at the end of the day, it's all about the kids, right? So we understood that you, you got to focus locally. And the reason why is because you want to make sure all the money goes directly to the people that you're serving or that charity is focusing on, okay? So I actually searched for three hours, guys, three hours. I was literally going through everything, trying to find this place. And keep in mind, we we're both in, the, we we're actually both in law enforcement. So this was a straight up full investigation, okay? Now, I actually found the one and I've actually personally verified they're legit, reached out to the founder, phone call, Zoom call, everything, okay? And the story really moved us. So we actually found out that 62%, think about that, guys, it's more than half of the children in San Diego school systems qualify for free food. So think about that for a second, for free food. And the reason why is because of income and their situations at home. And this is no fault to themselves. So their families came and afford to feed them at school. So we actually dedicated, we have this special announcement. So ATM Together is actually going to be matching donations to this charity. So let me share my screen so you can see exactly who we're talking about. Because at the end of the day, this is it. No, no kid deserves to be hungry. So we're going to match all donations to this charity, okay? So this is the thing, though, all right? This ain't it. We realize, how can we make this better, more value for you guys? So anyone that donates to this charity, any amount, I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's just a dollar. We're actually going to give you a discount on any of our services. You heard that right, guys. Any of our services, okay? Remember, Christmas is coming up. So if these children can't even afford school meals, imagine what their home life is during the holidays, guys. Take advantage of impacting someone else's life and someone else's future like we try to do for you guys, okay? So if you're excited about this cause and you're interested in learning more, comment children 
Okay, comment children below. One of our team members will provide you a little more details about what we're doing, okay? Now, guys, I want to actually get into this quick because we have a phenomenal presentation, like I mentioned. So let me go straight to the agenda, guys, okay? So first of all, today, we're going to be covering the beginner's basics, the four pillars, the four pillars, the foundation of the actual ATM business. I'm going to be covering that. Right after that, this is what we're going to do. We're actually going to cover, we have a special guest, and I'm, I'm really excited about this part. So we have a special guest, and we're going to be covering how you can use traditional cash dispensing and Bitcoin ATMs to make five figures monthly. And that's going to be with Spencer Cutler. He's going to be on later. Okay. After that, have a special announcement. So stay tuned for that. Okay. So I'm actually going to cover how you, yes, you right now can start your business before 2023. And remember, it's already December 6th right now. So you have about, what is it? 24 more days. That's just over three weeks. We're going to show you exactly how you can do that, guys. Okay. So if you're excited to know the exact way you can start your business right now, the four pillars of the ATM business, comment four pillars below because we actually have a guide, a guide that covers the basics that I'm going to be covering too. So you can read along. One of our team members will actually provide that to you. Okay. Comment four pillars below. All right. So let's do this. Let me make sure you guys can see my screen. All right. Let's see, can you guys see my screen? Uh, I don't think so. All right, here we go, guys. So the four pillars of the ATM business, guys. So first of all, let's let's go with those, right? Because here's the thing. What, what we realized is for you to get into a business, you have to understand the basics, right? So before we actually get into this, what I'm going to do is actually cover a little background. So a little bit by myself. All right. So first of all, you guys know, get them Jonas, ATM together, COO. I didn't always start that way. I was actually in the Marine Corps before. If you're a veteran, comment veteran below. We want to know. Comment veteran below so we know exactly who you are. Okay. So I was in the Marine Corps, served in infantry, as you can see in that photo. Okay. After that, right after the Marine Corps, I knew, you know, I needed something a little different. Right. I knew I was going to spend 20, 30 years in that, but it's it's a career at the end of the day. I wasn't going to stay there. So I found the next best thing. I actually found law enforcement, okay? Ended up promoting very quickly in law enforcement, saved a lot, but I decided that wasn't enough for me because at the end of the day, working 70, 75 hours a week, I mean, it was fun, but it wasn't sustainable. And I knew that. And if you didn't know the average age, somebody dies in law enforcement after retirement's 57. And guess what the retirement age is? 57. The system is rigged against us, guys. And I recognize that. You recognize there's a glass ceiling. How many of you guys have recognized maybe the position you're in right now is a glass ceiling? It happens, man. It happens. I totally understand. You're trying to find a way out of it. And that's what I did. Okay. So chief operating officer, ATM Together, also known as the COO, actually invested in real estate in the past. And in case you guys didn't know, I invested in crypto years ago. Ended up becoming a seven-figure earner. That's two commas, okay? No prior education whatsoever, guys. Remember that, high school diploma. I actually applied, got into UC Berkeley, but I realized, you know what? College wasn't the path for me. So I went the entrepreneurial route, okay? I actually used to work over 26, 40 hours a year just to make $10,000 for that year. I was in the military. Think about that for a second, guys. Think about that for a second over 2,500 hours in the year just to make $10,000. And granted, I think, think about it this way, right? It was for the service and I'm grateful for it, but I realized, you know, it just wasn't enough. And then I used to work 200 hours a month just to make 10K a month. And some of you are probably thinking, you know, that that's pretty good, but think about it, sustainability. Think about your health, your family. Think about the things you're going to miss out on. Then I became an actual real estate investor. I found a few investment opportunities and I invested over $100,000 just to make $10,000. That's a 10% return, right? And in the stock market or maybe things like that, that's okay. But think about the upfront capital that required. So I found this thing called ATMs. ATMs. I thought, man, this is a scam. I don't know what's going on, right? This has got to be like some Ozark narco season three. A friend actually brought it up to me out of nowhere. It was a random investment idea. 
those ATMs actually make me $800 a month. That's just from two ATMs. After that, I decided, you know what? I have to go fully into the entrepreneurial route. Worked with Paul, became the COO of ATM Together. And at the time, we actually helped over 14,000 members create semi-passive income streams, guys. So just a little breakdown, because I know you guys are pretty interested about, like when I mentioned the $800 a month. So my friend actually didn't have the money or the funds to actually purchase their ATM. So I actually became a silent investor. That was another investment opportunity. Just like one of our clients, Patrick Thomas, who started his ATM business for absolutely zero. And he has scaled to five ATMs already. Literally none of his own money. I was that person investing in the business. So that's another way for you guys to get into it. So I actually let my friend borrow a little over, over $10,000 for two ATMs. As you can see, the surcharge was $3.50 for these locations. One of them was a nightclub. One of them was an actual liquor store. They performed pretty well. And then I got my cut, which was $800 a month net. But think about this for a second, because I was actually a silent investor, but I was consulting. I was involved in the deal because my friend had no sales experience. So what I told them, and what we finally understood was landing those deals, it requires the foundation or the fundamentals. What they used to tell us in the military was this, guys. Excellence is just mastery of the basics. The difference between literally a Navy SEAL and you is they focus on the basics every single day, 12 to 15 hours a day. That's it. There's nothing stopping you from becoming the expert, but you have to understand the foundation or the fundamentals. That's why I want to present this to you guys. Okay. So the four pillars of the actual ATM business, guys. Now, first things first, whenever you're starting a business, you want to have your LLC because at the end of the day, you want to protect yourself. Okay. The main reason why realistically is simplicity that we focus on the LLC. Because remember, there's all these different business formations. You can get an S corp, you can get a C corp, you can do whatever you want. But we always say simplicity equals success because we want to see you be successful. So when I say the LLC, the main reason why is because of simplicity, okay? In addition to that, you want protection because having that business or that entity protects your other assets. Because think about this. Think about driving down the road and you get in a minor fender vendor. And then they find out you have an ATM business. They're saying, hey, you make how much a month? Oh yeah, I'm going to take that. But when it's in an LLC, you're protected. That's the main reason why, guys. And then in addition to that, professionalism. How many of you guys have had a job interview? How many of you guys have interviewed somebody for a job and they showed up in t-shirts and sweats and you're like, what is up with this guy? It's professionalism, guys, because when it comes down to it, this is extremely important for landing locations and the banks, which I'm actually going to get into, guys. But before that, let me ask you guys this. How many of you guys would actually want a guide? One of the most recent guides that I made that covers exactly how to form your LLC step-by-step. -step. If that sounds like something you're interested, comment LLC below. Guys, I'm talking, we have all these resources available to you. You have to take advantage. Closed mouths don't get fed. Comment LLC below. We'll provide that to you. Okay. So how many of you guys actually like to be quick though? Right. So this is the main reason why, like I mentioned with the ATM business forming an LLC, like I said, success favors speed. So when you want to get into this business, you want to execute on deals fast. You don't want to be waiting for all this additional paperwork. So the way you do it very quickly is you use an online filing service. Here at ATM Together, we recommend inkfile.com. We're not associated with them, but they are pretty quick. We've used them for business. Myself, Paul has used them for another business. They're very quick. That's why we recommend them. If you have any other company, use it, just do it. But the last step for your LLC, guys, is you want to know the NAICS code. And I know you're probably wondering, like, what the heck is the NAICS code? Well, what it is, is literally just, it's registration. It's classification. That's all it is. It's a set of numbers that the federal government created just to identify businesses. Quick story with this. One of our clients actually reached out to me because he had actually got an attorney to try to figure it out. The attorney spoke to a tax professional. Tax professional couldn't figure it out. Attorney couldn't figure it out. The CPA couldn't figure it out. They're like, we, we don't know. They gave him like seven different options. And he's like, get him. I need help. I was like, well, like what, what's the problem? Like this lawyer can't figure out. He's like, they, they don't know the NAICS code. I was like, you bothered me for that? And I just texted it to him. It was 522320. Write this down, guys. 522320. The NAICS code for the ATM business is 522320. It has stumped so many people. It's not even funny, guys. 
Okay. Now, with that being said, the second pillar for the ATM business is going to be the bank. Okay. The bank is, I mean, I, I mean, I don't even know how to talk about this. This is one of the most important banks, important steps in the ATM business, guys. And here, here's why. Okay. This is this is, I mean. Like if, if you're listening to this in the background, if you're driving, please pull over and just, just listen to this for a second, guys. Banks in 2022 have been extremely hard to find. And that's just 2022. Guys, 2023 is literally around the corner. What do you think is going to happen? They're becoming scarce. That's why we push you with urgencies, like get into this business now because it's almost impossible to find a bank. In California, hey, good luck. Good luck. We actually had to pause enrollments in California because it is extremely difficult. We partnered with a national processor. I'm talking national. They're actually based out of Canada too. For them to use their connections to provide banks for us. And it's working, right? But how many of you guys have those connections? It's not fair. So pay attention because I'm going to show you exactly how you can actually get your bank. Okay. Now, here's the first thing. You got to make sure you have a business checking account in the ATM business. And the reason why is because, first of all, if you have a good processor, which I'll get into later, they should require you to have a business checking account because you need someone to receive the profits. The worst thing that could happen, which has happened, I'm telling you right now, this has happened. Clients have actually had, and I'm not really saying clients, I'm saying clients that moved on before us came to us because they had their bank shut down and they said, hey, I, I had an ATM. It was at a location. This guru told me, and I'm talking these ATM gurus that are out there, and we're not going to name any names. We don't throw shade out there. You'll see them. Something doesn't feel right. You know what I'm talking about? You ever heard that song? It feels like somebody's watching me. You just get that weird feeling when you're talking to them. It's almost like, you know, you're walking down an alley and you see a guy with a hoodie on and just they're staring at you. Those gurus. Well, some of them were telling people to open personal checking accounts for their business. They're like, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Just get the ATM through me. Well, here's what happened. Their banks got shut down. They found out. They're like, what? You're doing what with your personal checking account? Frozen. They got letters in the mail. And this is not it. They actually reported them to the banking system. In case you guys didn't know, banks communicate with each other. State by state, they communicate with each other. It's called the check system, right? There's a record with your name on it. And they say, hey, Joe Schmo, I wouldn't work with them. So now they were getting red flags. They go to a different bank. They're like, oh, you're Joe, huh? Uh, just give me a second. We got a code yellow in aisle three, right? I'm kidding, but still. So it was bad advice. So that's why I'm telling you right now, you need to have a business checking account in the ATM business, okay? Be transparent. Let them know what you're doing, Okay. And the way to actually find these banks is to actually start small because the big three, Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, they just don't work with ATM accounts. Your competition at the end of the day, guys, you're trying to make money. They're trying to make money. It's nothing personal. Okay. So start small with these banks. In addition to this, you want to have your paperwork. First of all, your LLC paperwork. Remember I told you about that? And if you didn't get the guide, you better comment down below because we have that guide available for you. Okay. Now, you want to have your LLC paperwork. You also want to have your EIN, which is your employer identification number. Have that with you. And then you're typically going to have processing paperwork that should show you're working with a processing company. If they don't provide that to you, you might want to walk away. That's a problem. That's a red flag right there. If you're saying, if they're a legit company and they don't have paperwork to provide you to make sure your account gets open, that's a problem. Okay. And remember, you want to maintain a relationship with that bank. Let me give you an example. There was actually this VP of banks. I'm talking vice president reached out to us. He said, hey, get him. Like, I just got my business checking account closed. Keep in mind, he's in management regional of this different bank. He said, they just shut me down. It's like, well, what did they say? He's like, I don't know. They, they said they sent me a letter. I didn't get the letter. And he's not lying, obviously. He's in the banking system. That's how serious it is, guys. So you need to have urgency when you're filing and getting your bank account, okay? Now, if you want me to tell you the exact line you can use to actually find your bank account, comment bank below, guys. I want to make sure you guys are paying attention. You guys are actually interested in starting your business, okay? So I see a few comments, okay? If 
you're cold calling these banks to find them, to identify who's going to open your account. This is exactly what you need to say. You contact them and you say, hey, this is get them with ATM together. I'm looking to open a business check-in account to collect the commissions for my ATMs. If there is a yes or a maybe, or I need to talk to somebody, go to that bank. Here's the reason why. Everything's negotiable. They will judge you based on your appearance. Better look professional, have your paperwork, have your information, and be straight. Because at the end of the day, they have discretion. So if they didn't have a policy on ATM accounts, you may be the one that makes that policy. Okay? So that is pillar number two, guys. Okay? Pillar number three, because we had to get through this. I know Spencer is waiting, and we have a phenomenal present. I, I mean, I got to get this through this. Okay? So in the ATM business, you need an ATM, obviously. Automated teller machine, okay? There's a saying in the industry that we've known within our team, tens, decades, years of experience. When you're new, buy brand new. This isn't like cars, guys. You ain't going to find the cheapest one. I'm telling you right now, you're going to run into issues. It's going to cost you hundreds of dollars down the road, okay? We actually had a client. She spoke to me. She actually had bought 10 used ATMs for basically nothing, right? So in her defense, it was, it was really cheap, okay? But come to find out, they were actually not going to be compliant and they were going to be outdated within three months. She frantically sold them all. Luckily, she was able to use that money to buy a brand new ATM, guys, okay? So remember this, when it comes to the ATM business, ATMs aren't like cars. They don't have serial, they don't have uh, VIN numbers. There's no car fax. So that person that's selling it to you and says, hey, like new, well, they didn't tell you that it was outdoors in the humidity for two years and 10,000 people used it. That's a problem. And it looks brand new because they wiped it down. Then maybe they sprayed it. So buy brand new guys. And you always want to go with a reputable brand. And here's the reason why. We always recommend Hayusung or Gen Mega. They're almost like Toyota and Honda when it comes down to them. Okay. You always want to go to a reputable brand because they're going to have support. They're going to have warranties and you want to make sure you get a warranty with your ATM. And because there's going to be a lot of supplies available because guess what? Everyone else is using them. Okay. So make sure you go with the reputable brand. In addition to that, learn how to program it yourself. Because at the end of the day, you can always pay somebody to program it. That's easy, right? But you're not doing this to take the easy way out. You want to learn how it works because at the end of the day, if something ever goes wrong, you want to know how to diagnose it because that technician may come to you and say, you know what? It's going to cost you $800. You're like, man, that doesn't sound right. And then you realize all you had to do was unplug it and plug it back in, guys. Okay. Now, the fourth pillar, because we got to get to this quick, guys, is going to be the processing supplier. Okay. So the processing company should be the one that supplies your ATMs. Okay. Because let's, let's wrap this up real quick. All right. So when you're choosing your processing company, you want to choose wisely. And the reason why is because, I mean, at the end of the day, I keep hearing the same story. All right. People keep falling for the same thing in this business. Leases and long contracts. Those are the two no-nos in the ATM business, okay? Think about it this way. Why would somebody be willing to rent out their ATM to you? Obviously, there's something in it for them. They capture you on fees. They make more money off of you than you would have made off of just buying that ATM. So if your processing company is telling you to do that, run away, guys. And if there's a contract, run away. That's scarcity right there. They think you're going to go away from that. Well, if you're offering good service, why would you be care if I'm going to leave or not? Because I'm obviously going to stay. So avoid leases and long contracts, guys. And at the end of the day, you want to make sure you're keeping all your profits. Make sure you have 100% free processing. If that's not in your agreement, there's a problem, guys. It's 2022. We're gone past those days where you're splitting profits. You need to keep all your profits, guys. And then in addition to that, guys, no contracts. Make sure you do not get it locked into a contract. Paul, I remember Paul told me this story because I didn't fall for this. I was like, man, Paul, come on. So he told me when he got started, he got locked into, it's a big name processing company. When he told me, he told me the names, like, please don't tell it again. Because we don't, we don't need a bad mouth any other companies. But they locked him into a multi-year contract and they're taking a lot of his profits. He got with a mentor and that mentor was like, what are you doing? Get out of that contract. You're getting killed on fees. 
And to you, you're brand new. You're thinking, well, I thought that was just normal because no information out there. That's why we're giving you this information, guys. It cost them $10,000. More than that, actually, but we like to round it just to break the contract. Think about that. It's your business. Why are you paying extra for that? Okay. And then you want to make sure that processing company you're working with, guys, gives you discounted rates for your ATMs. This is extremely important because at the end of the day, by you processing with them, they should be giving you guys a discount. Okay. With that being said, guys, if you're excited right now, because we actually have a special guest coming on right now, we're going to be covering how to actually make five figures monthly. Think about that. That's at least $10,000 a month with traditional and Bitcoin ATMs. If you're excited, comment cash flow below. While Spencer's joining us right now, comment cash flow below. Special guest, he's actually an ATM and crypto ATM expert in the industry. That's why we brought him on because we only bring the best onto this, guys. Spencer, can you hear us? What's up? What's up, guys? What's going on, guys? Awesome, what's, what's... awesome nuggets. You need to give get him a virtual little round of applause behind y'all's screens because get him's a beast and he just dropped some major nuggets on you guys. For, for um, sure, for sure. In case yes. you guys didn't know, I, uh, just so just so you guys know, because I know you guys probably haven't met Spencer before. Um, we always do our due diligence whenever we're working with somebody. So if somebody comes on a live, they have been vetted. They have the law enforcement military approval, guys. Okay. So Spencer is actually a young veteran of the game. So the crap, the crypto and cash ATMs, guys. So we're personally working with him, myself and Paul. They're actually working with him to install our BTMs right now. Okay. So pay attention to this lesson, guys. Yep. You're about to drop some gems, right? Yeah. And uh, these guys didn't ask me to do this, but I'm actually flying out to San Diego to personally install their first Bitcoin ATM because it means that much to all of us. So mm -hmm. super excited. We're going to um, get to meet up and, and chop it up and, and you know. Exactly. Yeah. We're going to make, make it happen. Money. We're going to make yeah. it happen. I mean, yeah. guys, this, this is at the, at the end of the day, it's all about networking and relationships. Yeah. That's what we're all about. That's why we have these lives because we want to bring on phenomenal guests, just like Spencer, an expert in the industry to give you his personal advice for the industry. Okay. So Spencer, I actually have a few questions for you that will help the audience get a little more knowledge in the industry. Okay. So let me ask you this. Why did you get into the ATM and Bitcoin ATM business? That's a good question. Um, so I'm a little bit younger than, uh, as you guys can see. So I actually went to school abroad. I went to, to university over in England um, played for a semi-professional soccer academy, got my degree, kind of a student athlete role over there. And it was my big dream to, to play professional soccer in England. Right. Um, and sadly I got injured and it was a big spine injury and it, you know, crushed my soul, my hopes and dreams and left me with this feeling of like, man, I don't know who I am. Like, I don't know my identity anymore. Cause it was so for a long time wrapped around being a professional soccer player. So when that happened, I, I really had a clean slate and I thought, well, I have way too much potential to, you know, just go work a nine to five. Um, right now I'm young enough. I can just get into something. And if I fall flat on my face, I have enough time to recover in life, to, you know, where I'm not putting my family, my, my uh, kids through something dangerous, et cetera. So it was really just like you get him a friend of mine that said, Hey, have you ever thought about uh, buying and owning some ATMs? And um, we were getting lunch and I thought, no, never have. And for the rest of the conversation, I was just not listening to him. I was just thinking, how the hell can you own an ATM? So that was how I got into it. Started with my brother-in-law and uh, we got a couple up where I live here in Salt Lake City up and going. And uh, that's turned into just <laughs> ATM everything uh, <laughs> in life and business. Yeah. So went full time finally over COVID and um, it's been rocking it ever since. So yeah, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So how long have you actually been involved in the uh, ATM and BTM game? And just so you guys know, yeah. when I say BTM, that means Bitcoin ATM, just so you guys don't get them confused. That's a new terminology. Remember it guys. Okay. Yep. ATM, BTM. So mm -hmm. um, I've been in the industry just under four years. I think it's been nice. close to three and a half. Um, so I know enough about the traditional ATMs and what you can do and how you can change your life truly with some machines, regardless of age you are, but uh, BTMs is a little bit newer. It's, we've been doing it for about two years now and just hitting the ground running, making some success happen in that industry because it's new. So 
awesome. making our awesome. splash. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, just so you guys know, right. So you mentioned he's, he's been in the BTM industry for two years, right? Most people haven't even known about crypto for a year. I mean, think about it. Let's, let's keep it real. Thanksgiving. Now everyone's talking about it, but last year, were they? No, probably not. So he is considered an expert in the industry. Okay. So based on that, okay. Spencer, what is the most common mistake you see rookies actually making with Bitcoin ATMs? Hmm. Good question. Really, it's just not knowing 100% what you're getting into. Um, just for simplicity's sake, I'll put it that way, because there's a lot that goes on with Bitcoin ATMs and operating them specifically. Um, I won't get into all the nuts and bolts, but I'll just name a few. But between the compliance, which is a federal and state level, the liquidity, the cash management, the banking, the customer support, the installation, servicing, and management of machines, as you guys know, right? Between all that stuff, people just jump way too far head on in first without doing due diligence of what they're getting into and having all those ducks in a row, for lack of a better term, before making the investment and making the time commitment as well, because it is time consuming to start a Bitcoin ATM business. So yeah, definitely those. That makes Definitely sense. That. that makes sense. Yeah. And then and here's the thing, right? So just in case you guys didn't know in the, in the Bitcoin ATM business, you actually have to own the Bitcoin, right? And quick story about this. So Paul, and I just saw this in the comments, perfect timing, Paul. So Paul invested in some of these exchanges, right? And these are typically the only other way people buy crypto. Other than crypto ATMs, they go to the exchange, right? So in case you guys didn't know, two of the biggest exchanges right now just went bankrupt, FTX and BlockFi. And I'm talking billions of funds. I'm talking investors' funds from teachers' pension funds, Steph Curry, Tom Brady. These guys even spent the money to buy a stadium. Well, guess what? That money was taken from middle-class people just like you and me. Paul himself lost over $50,000 for one of these exchanges. So just so you guys know, that's the only other way to buy crypto and it's at risk. So we're trying to give you the gems right now so you can take advantage of being your own exchange. So when Spencer's mentioning the hiccups, rookies, and I like to call myself a rookie in a lot of industries, get started with, well, think about this. We're trying to teach you for a reason because you're going to be the alternative to the exchange. You're going to make the money off of the people too. Okay. So that, that's a phenomenal insight, Spencer. So yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. One no, thing so, I'll say real quick sorry, yeah, go ahead. is the way I put it to y'all. And one thing that you can stick in your mind is why would you go to Vegas and bet on black or red playing roulette when you can be the house? It's exactly mm -hmm. what a Bitcoin ATM is. Don't put your money on exchanges. We've seen millions of people's funds get lost. Be the house and own own the house, right? Be the house so you make money both ways. It's the yep. best way to win long term. Exactly. Yeah. There's a saying, right? The house always wins, right? You might house be up a wins. little bit and then guess what? It's going down, right? That's the reason why people <laughs> leave Vegas looking a different way than they arrive, right? <laughs> so, exactly. I know I do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So so obviously like if everyone could get into the BTM business, they would, but well, let, let me ask you this. Well, what's what's the average cost for someone to start a Bitcoin ATM business on their own? That's without help on their own. Ooh, yeah, you're gonna spend, and this is this is no lie, guys. You will spend the next year of your life and six figures just to get to the point of being able to deploy machines. Again, some of the things I mentioned between the compliance, licensing, liquidity, right? You've got to provide crypto for people to buy and sell on the machines, which we'll get into later. Um, and then lawyers fees, right? You've got to be buttoned up, making sure that you are um, covered in all aspects on the conversion of fiat to digital and back the, um, you know, compliance, which is a huge thing uh, in of itself, et cetera, et cetera. So mm -hmm. you, that's probably what you're looking at. And um, <clears throat> if that's worth it to you, it's a hundred percent worth it, right? Becoming the house at the casino in Vegas is no light task, but once you are the house, Hey, you know, <laughs> there mm -hmm. you go. So yeah, that's what you're looking at. It's not, not 
not easy. It's not time. It is time consuming, but very much worth it. Like anything in life. Yeah. So that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. So, so I'm a, I'm a numbers guy. So what do you think based on, cause yeah. obviously you mentioned like they got to buy the crypto, right. And Bitcoin right now is at like 16 or 17,000, right. They got to get the cash yeah. inside. They got to do compliant. They got to do all this stuff. Right. So, so much like conservatively, what do you, what do you think? How much it would cost somebody just to start on their own without the help of anybody else? Probably a hundred thousand bucks, probably six figures right on the dot. Um, with wow. nobody else between all that stuff, it's again, it's, it's no light task. Um, I know, and I'm speaking for personal experience. It was over six figures. Um, it was well into, to the low six figure range once we were up and, and starting to go, but just to even get to the point of being set up, it's probably a hundred grand, uh, that you're wow. looking at. That so is ridiculous. a lot different than ATMs. But yeah, that I mean, you could you could basically buy a house with that, right? So that that 100%. is ridiculous. So so you heard it, guys. Yeah. Spencer started on his own, right? He did everything from scratch. He learned mistakes. He learned the hard way, right? And and at the end of the day, you can always learn the hard way, or you can learn from somebody else's mistakes, right? So Spencer, if you were to start all over, like right now, don't know anything about the Bitcoin ATM business but you do have your past experiences. Would you start from scratch by yourself or with the help of others? Ooh, it's a good question. Um, so just a little backstory, like we, we, I did start with a partnership. Mm -hmm. I would say today I probably wouldn't be where I'm at and we wouldn't be as a company without each other. Mm -hmm. With that said, if you are gonna pick a partner, Make sure that it's damn well, you've done your due diligence, it's somebody you trust and someone that's on the same mission and purpose as you. That's huge. Exactly. Um, I personally would would start with a partner just because there's a ton of aspects that go on with it. Um, or I would just just uh, go the turnkey route, which you guys will be hearing about that uh, mm -hmm. we basically do everything for you mm -hmm. and you don't actually have to do all the operations. You kind of plug into our infrastructure that we've built already yeah. and mm -hmm. um, expand our footprint. So yeah. I would start, sense. I would start with a partner and mm -hmm. I would keep it low key starting, yeah. uh, starting again, now that I know what I know mm -hmm. and focus my attention on the few things that were the biggest hurdles from the get-go, which you know, there's a few, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and here's here, let me ask you this then. Right. So that's guys. Yeah. Remember that's, if you want to do it completely on your own, it's typically like realistically, it's going to take you about a hundred thousand dollars on your own. Like literally you buy the machine, you figure out the compliance, you figure out the laws, you figure out where to register, like all that stuff. And it's a lot guys. So let me ask you this, Spencer, would you, knowing what you know now, would you start with the help of a team that actually have done it already? Or would you still do it on your own? Oh man, hundred percent a team already done it. Yeah, hundred percent makes sense. Um, hundred percent just because and, and guys, this is only in recent you know months, years. Like the crypto landscape changes quick. Um, you know NFTs were the whole craze last year. What? How many NFT projects you see going on right now? Probably not a lot, right? A little bit non-existent. Mm -hmm. So it changes quick, yep. and you need to have a team that has foreseen those hurdles that you're about to go into has kind of the foresight to see, okay, this is where we're at. This is where the market's yeah. going. And this is how we can fill the gaps within the marketplace and do a little bit better job here, here, and here. When we, you know, yeah. push our machines out, you just won't know that going into it. I certainly did not know half of the uh, things that ended up, be, you know, they say your assets become your liabilities and that's true. Yeah. Um, you know, going, going down the road, it's like, you just run into a bunch of different stuff. So having a team that's done it, been there, knows what's going on, knows what's coming down the road to help you a hundred percent, just like everybody is uh, wants to be on the ATM together team. I mean, you guys have mm -hmm. done this, you know, what to avoid, what to look for, yeah. how to do it, how to be successful. And that's massively important. Yeah, no, for sure. For sure. I mean, it makes sense guys. At the end of the day, it's like, why reinvent the wheel? That's how I always look at it. It's like, you could, you could do things on your own. I, I used to be that way, right? Back in the day when I, when I was a young Marine, when I was a young cop, man. The senior guys were like, dude, come on, you're hard headed, right? Just, just learn how it's done already. We'll show you how to do it. And I was like, I'm going to do it myself. And I failed multiple times, right? Yep. So just like Spencer said, guys, start with the team. Start with somebody who knows what they're doing and they know exactly how to get you started, okay? So let me ask you this, Spencer. So right now, if you are looking for a higher return on investment, what would you pick, cash 
or BTFs. Higher return on investment. 100% right now, I would pick uh, BTMs. Okay. Only for the sense of the margins on a Bitcoin ATM are way higher, right? It's not so much like an ATM that's based on the volume, the surcharges, how many can you pump out in a day, right? The 10 to 15 transactions a day keeps the mm -hmm. real job away. But with yeah. a Bitcoin ATM, it's a little bit different. It's a percentage base and the margins are way higher because it's a percentage. So you're getting a percentage on each purchase, whether that's five bucks, 10 bucks, 10,000 uh, bucks versus an ATM where it's per transaction. So you'll have a lot of repeat customers that come in and, and they spend real money and they actually buy a lot of Bitcoin because they, oh, wow. they know they need to <laughs> uh, yeah. versus, you know, people that come in and everybody knows they need an ATM and knows when they need to use an ATM or prefer yeah. to. So the higher ROI hundred percent is a Bitcoin ATM because you're getting anywhere from, from 10 to 15% per transaction and oh. our machines, they allow up to $30,000 a day in purchase limits. Wow. So if somebody spends 30 grand in a day, you're getting, let's just say 10%. Well, you guys can do the math, right? Higher, a, a lot higher return uh, and ROI, but margins are a lot higher. So yeah, yeah, that is ridiculous. Does that make sense? Guys, yeah, no, yeah. for sure. I mean, in case you guys didn't know, like yeah. I always bring up the Marines, right? We had this, we had these lessons called math for Marines because we keep things simple. There's a reason why Claymore says point front towards enemy. All right. So Spencer <laughs> just broke this down. Okay. He said, if a customer goes to your machine and they purchase $30,000 worth of Bitcoin, which is only like 1.5 Bitcoins. Okay. Hmm. You would get 10 to 15%. So conservatively, if we just said 10%, that's $3,000 on that one transaction. And if it was 15% that you're charging, because you keep the, I mean, you set the charge yourself, that is $4,500 in profit off of one transaction. That is absolutely ridiculous. That's most people's salaries. Okay. Yeah. And I didn't believe it. I'll be honest, guys. Like I, yeah, like personally, I, I mean, I don't care to say this, but I'm probably bad for my own industry. I don't buy mm -hmm. Bitcoin from a Bitcoin ATM. I just don't. Yeah. I buy it from mm -hmm. my phone, but other people do, tons of people do. And I, yeah. I could not believe, I remember the first time someone did the highest transaction, it was $22,000. It was a retired NASA scientist, this old lady um, that just had sold her house in Puerto Rico. She was in retirement. She didn't like living down there over COVID. So she sold her house. She came back. She knew about Bitcoin from her son. And I could not believe my eyes when she dumped 22 grand in the machine. I thought, there's just no way. And then wow. we called her. Our compliance team reached out, verified the information. And it was like, okay, we just made... 2700 bucks today right on that one transaction so i couldn't believe it for my for my own eyes wow. until i actually saw it but that is that is happens. ridiculous yeah guys I'm, I'm telling you right now like it's 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 limiting beliefs at the end of the day right you can be involved yeah. in an industry and you're just like nah this doesn't make sense and the best example i got it's actually was funny right i was actually talking to this uh business owner and uh he owned some some fast food restaurants that are like they're really bad the, the one he owned was really bad for you and I was like, man, like, how do you stay in phenomenal shape if you're always eating fast food or you this place? He's like, hey, you, you think I eat fast food? And I was confused. I'm like, because this guy owned five of these fast food joints. And he's like, I don't eat. I eat healthy. But other yeah. people eat my fast food. And that's how I profit. And it just blew my mind, guys. You don't have to use the thing that you're investing in because other people will. Okay. So, so that, that actually brings up another question. Do you own actual ATMs and BTMs or just BTMs? Yeah, both, uh, both. Okay. So, so I actually had sold my ATM business here local uh, to a larger mm -hmm. ATM company who took over the route essentially, um, which is a little bit more like advanced ATM stuff. You can learn how to, you know, okay, get get into or sell routes. But and uh, plugged into ATMmachines.com, and so now we own over twenty five hundred machines nationwide. We we cash load, own, and manage about six hundred in and around Atlanta area um, wow. ourselves, and then the rest are across the the U.S. That um, you know people just like yourselves own machines and make money from as well. So mm -hmm. uh, hey, that's the ATM side. The BTM side, we're close to almost one hundred and ten now out in the wow. field. Um, mm -hmm which is a lot newer, but, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, both you make money either way, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, so that's a lot. That, that's both, awesome. Yeah. yeah okay. Great. All right. So you own both guys, just so you know, so we're not advertising saying, Hey, you know, don't get ATMs, don't get BTMs. No, we, this is the thing. So, 
Spencer obviously owns a decent amount, right? I'll say decent. I like, you know, say conservative, but he owns a lot. Okay. So Spencer, how do you use them to complement each other? That's ATMs and BTMs. Good question. So these BTMs, as of right now, I've only seen one other company in the industry, in the retail, oh, placing machines in the retail space that have a okay. debit card reader and a cash intake. So a lot of times you'll see ATMs next to BTMs in gas stations, in convenience stores, and they complement each other because it's cash in, cash out on the Bitcoin. So people will do a withdrawal mm -hmm. to pull out 60 bucks from the cash. They'll literally turn back around right next to the ATM and put that cash in the Bitcoin ATM. And so when you own both of those, you make money on the 350 that they pull out, and then you make 10 to 15% on the money they put in on the Bitcoin ATM. And these BTMs are buying sell machines so people can get cash out like an ATM. But a lot of times, 98% of our portfolio is purchase transactions, which means cash going in the machine. So a lot of times we love having uh, uh, piggybacking off of ATM locations that we can get and putting a machine right next to each other because pull cash out, purchase Bitcoin with that cash right next to it. It's great. Wow. That is, that's, so we actually coined this term. It's called infinity banking guys. So I want to break this down a little further than Spencer mentioned, right? So Love they it. have both. Keep this, keep it like this. Okay. So, so the, the best way to look at it is like this. You have a cash ATM at a location, you own it. Okay. That customer goes to that ATM and they pull out, we'll say a hundred bucks. Okay. They get charged a fee, which is the surcharge. And the national average right now for surcharges is about $3 and 50 cents. Okay. So you get paid $3 and 50 cents for them pulling out that a hundred dollars. Okay. So that's your profit. That same customer goes to the BTM. That's literally right next to it and says, I'm going to use that to buy Bitcoin. Cause I saw the Bitcoin price just went down and I want to take advantage. You're the house. You own the actual machine. They put that $100 in there. You charge them 15%. You just made another $15. So you just made $18.50 out of $100. That is 18.5% return on investment right there. That is ridiculous, guys. So they complement each other. That's what we're trying to get across here. Does that, does that sound about right, Spencer? Yeah, that's exactly right. And uh, a lot of time people will pull out more than what they thought because the yeah. convenience of cash and the convenience of Bitcoin is right next to them, which is fantastic. That is ridiculous, guys. Guys, so I mean, if, if you have it, I mean, if you're not paying attention, like this is this is the future. 2023 is around the corner. People didn't believe in Bitcoin 10 years ago. They didn't believe five years ago. Look where we're at now. We have people like Spencer and ourselves because we just got into the industry profiting off of crypto without even investing in it, guys. All right. So, so Spencer, just so the audience knows, how can they get a hold of you? Yeah, guys. Um, so Instagram, I think Getem had it up at the beginning, but um, Instagram is at the Spenny Cut, S P E N N Y C U T T. Tons of daily, uh, you know, little tidbits here, just you know, reels and stories and stuff. You guys can stay tuned. We've got some super exciting stuff coming up this next year. I don't know if you guys have set all your goals yet. I'm not one to wait till January 1st to do any of that stuff. So I like to crack on at it before the world does, you know, a couple of weeks before and yeah. just sat down with the next year and it's looking bright. So um, you guys will definitely want to stay tuned on a daily basis for stuff going on. That's so, what I'm talking Instagram's about. Instagram's the easiest. I'm pretty active in there. Feel free to shoot me a DM. Happy to chat with all y'all and engage. That's so that's what I'm talking about. So I actually just commented below in the comments, guys, Spencer's Instagram. Like I said, your network is your net worth. That's why we have him on. If you have any questions, reach out to him. And then we can always connect you guys also, right? So Spencer, man, appreciate it. Take care. We hope to have you on another live, okay? Yes, we will do it again. Thank you all. Appreciate you. Stay awesome. rich. For sure. Stay rich. Take care. Bye. Awesome. Wow, guys, that, I mean... Phenomenal gems. I was just, it kind of blows my mind that literally out of a hundred dollars, your own money, you become a bank and you make $18 and 50 cents, 18%. That's craziness. That's, I mean, that it's the future guys. Take advantage while you can. Okay. Spencer just broke some down, some gems for you guys. I mean, if I, if that didn't convince you, I don't know what else will guys. Okay. So let's get into it. Final lesson, guys, and this is this is gonna be phenomenal because I got a special announcement for you guys. I, I was I was paying attention to the comments. People are like, give me the guide, give me the guide. So if you guys want 
a guide on how to start your BTM, Bitcoin ATM business, comment BTM below. Okay. One of our team members will reach out and send you the guide. We literally just made it. It was, it's been four days since we made it phenomenal based on our ATM guide, where we've helped over 1500 clients start their ATM business and make passive and semi-passive income. We decided we're going to go on top of that and make a BTM guide for you guys. So comment BTM below. And if you want our traditional old school tried and true guide, okay that has proven the success, like I mentioned, comment ATM below. That will cover the cash ATMs, okay? Because I saw a lot of people in the comments mentioning like, send me this, send me that. Let's just keep it simple. Simplicity sells, guys, okay? So our final lesson, this is, this is gonna be good. How you can actually start your business before 2023, guys. And remember, mark my words on this. It is, we have 24, 20, I think it's, it's 31st, so 25 days before 2023, before you're gonna give your new year's resolution. How about this? You start your ATM business or your BTM business before then. So when you're giving your resolution, while well, all your family and friends are saying, hey, I wanna start this income, I wanna start that. You're like, I already started that. My goal is to scale. Let them fall behind, make it happen yourself, right? But first, let me ask you guys a question, okay? So, are you going to be the first millionaire in your family? Think about that for a second, okay? Take, take some time to think about it. Because I was, my parents, I don't know if I mentioned this, but they, they came from East Africa. My dad was a, a janitor. Mom was a nurse, blue collar, five siblings. We, did, we, we, we survived, I'll put it that way. So the idea of being a millionaire was this abstract concept, guys. That was like, that, that was just this, that was jeopardy. That was wheel of fortune. I was like, that's not going to be me. There's no way. I'm just destined to work every single day. That's the normal mentality right now. That is not going to be you because you're taking a step towards your future. By just, just joining this live, getting the information, because you know, instead of watching TV, you're watching this because you know, I'm going to get the information and I'm going to make the future for my family. So truly ask yourself, are you going to be the first millionaire in your family? Will you be the rock they can lean on? Are you going to be the one that's prepared financially if something happens? Are you going to be the one that can cover the bills? Think about it, guys. Think long and hard. Are you truly willing to do what it is and what it takes for your family? If you are determined to be the next millionaire, comment, I'm next below. Only if you're serious. We don't want any of this, hey, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, no, no, no. If you're serious and determined, you know for sure right now you'll be the next millionaire in your family, comment, I'm next. Make a promise to yourself. Take a screenshot of that comment. That way next year, and you're like, man, I can't believe that was just a thought back then. And you're going to be looking back at your life, looking back at the chapters because they're chapters of your life. If you're nine to five right now, your situation, that is just a chapter in your life. There's multiple chapters in your life. Are you going to make it your future or just a chapter? Comment, I'm next below. Second question for you guys, because you know you have to start a business to get past that. It's not, it's not saving, it's not investing. You need to start a business. So with that being said, are you looking for a completely passive business or one where you're more involved? And keep in mind your current situation. Maybe you're working a nine to five. Maybe you're working the night shift. We used to call it dog watch. Maybe you have kids. Maybe you have a family member. Paul had to take care of his parents and fly back. So are you truly looking for something completely involved? Because the average business takes you about, what we'd say, there's a saying, right? You, you trade your nine to five for 95 hours a week in business. There's a saying, it's a joke among entrepreneurs, but it's true, right? Or are you looking for a more passive venture? Comment what type of investment you're looking for, passive or involved. Now, with that being said, guys, I saw the interest. I saw the comments. I mean, my message request folder in Instagram, I'm talking 60 plus messages, 20 a day minimum. Crazy 
requests. So just a little backstory, guys. The Bitcoin ATM industry, like I mentioned, it's hard to get into. There's so many steps to get into it. And just keep in mind, I invested in crypto. My first investment was 2016. Back then, the Bitcoin price was about 600 bucks. So you do the numbers. I became a multi seven figure investor in the industry. And I mean, I guess it was getting lucky at the end. I'm gonna keep it real. I, was, I got lucky. I invested in I invested in Tesla. I invested in Amazon. That that's basically the luck, right? You know that friend that you're like, eh, I'm throw something in this and that and this, right? And I understood the future, but that's not realistic results. You have to have a business, okay? So, what we've seen based on our training and experience, Bitcoin ATMs expected profits are about a thousand dollars to $6,000 a month for a Bitcoin ATM or BTM, guys. And get used to this terminology. We're calling it BTMs. We're moving fast. If this sounds like something you would have been interested in or interested in right now, and you know, hey, that's going to be me making that off my machine, comment me below. We want to know who's serious, who's, who's really going to start their business. So like I mentioned, Common Bitcoin ATM roadblocks. And keep in mind, guys, I'm an expert in the crypto space, right? I actually have a, a program that covers the step-by-step -step basics of crypto. I get 30 emails a week based on crypto updates. And there's a reason why at ATM Together, we didn't get involved in Bitcoin ATMs for a long time. It was a headache. I spoke to Paul about it. He's like, dude, it's just, it's not realistic because it's a higher cost to entry. There's higher returns. I'll keep it real, it's higher returns. But it's a higher cost to entry. It's typically six figures. And most people just don't have that. And then in addition to that, you actually have to own and buy your own Bitcoin. Keep in mind, that's about right now, I'm, I haven't even checked the price. It's about $16,000 for Bitcoin. Okay. And then if you do it on your own, you become what's called a money service business. I'll keep it simple. Whenever you convert US dollars into something else, you become a different classification. You're basically a bank, a, firm, a foreign currency exchange. So there's strict compliance regard requirements. There's federal registration. There's typically state registration, city registration sometimes. I'm talking lots of government reporting. In addition to that, you have to hire specific employees within your company just to stay in compliance. It's a lot of work. And that's not including if you get audited. So think about how hard it is to get into the industry. It's unfair. I'm going to keep it real. It's unfair. So we put our heads together and we're like, how can we make this happen? One of our team members, Gianni, former Marine Corps combat veteran turned entrepreneur. He has 33 ATMs up and running right now, making him over $15,000 a month. An expert in the industry. He actually landed 80 locations. He didn't even get into the Bitcoin ATM industry. You know why? Because we spoke about this. He's like, it, it just didn't make any sense. It was too much. It was so complex. He has a family. He has two young children. He has a wife. He's like, I, I, just, I don't have the time. I can't do it. And on top of that, it was the cost of investment to get into it. He's like, it's just, it's, it's not reasonable for an individual to do on their own. Let me break this down for you guys. This is the average cost to start a Bitcoin ATM business on your own. 70 to $130,000. I'm going to break that down for you. Look at that. The machine itself costs about, typically about ten dollars to $25,000. Now, in addition to that, you got to buy the Bitcoin to put to actually have and host on that machine. Because when someone goes there to buy the Bitcoin, you have to own it. In addition to that, if the price changes, you have to have extra Bitcoin to affect that sale, or you lose it. That's about twenty to forty thousand dollars. Then you have to deal with compliance. Like I mentioned, that's about ten to fifteen thousand dollars, guys, just for compliance of your own Bitcoin ATM business. In addition to that. Now you need your cash because if somebody sells their Bitcoin, they want cash out. That's about thirty to fifty thousand dollars in that machine. How many of you guys have seventy to one hundred thirty thousand dollars to invest right now? I mean, I do, but it's just it doesn't make sense, right? To do it on your own, it's just for how much work it is, it turns into another job. So here's the thing: 
we found a way. This took us months, guys. This took us literally months of preparation, long hours. I was exhausted. I'm talking 14 hours a day of research to make sure this was perfect and presentable to you guys because we only present the best. And we'd rather wait. Trust me, I thought about this eight months ago, but I was like, it's just, let's wait to perfect it, partner with the best team, and then we'll present it to everybody that wants to get in the business, guys. So pay attention here, pay attention. So we actually found a way to save you money starting your Bitcoin ATM business. How many of you guys like to save money? I do. A penny saved is a penny earned. I still, man, I, I don't care. I'm, I'm in the seven figure range, guys, and I still keep quarters. I like to save money. We also found a way to completely automate your Bitcoin ATM business, guys. I'm talking completely passive. No involvement from you. Also, we found a way for you to invest in crypto, but not having to actually buy the crypto, guys. This took, I'm telling you, months, guys, so pay attention. Crypto elite automation. Guys, we are the only ones in the industry right now able to offer this. Let me explain a little bit about this, guys, because I, I want to break it down simply for you. So as a crypto elite member with us, you actually get one brand new two-way Bitcoin ATM that's custom wrapped, guys. So it attracts customers to use your machine. A two-way Bitcoin ATM means that someone can go to your machine, put the $1,000 in and buy Bitcoin. And keep in mind, you're charging them out at least 15%. So you make 150 bucks off that transaction. And they can also sell their Bitcoin. Okay. In addition to that, we're going to include one guaranteed location for your BTM. Just like our successful ATM locations, we actually partner with the same team. Okay. This means that if you don't like your location for any reason, we completely guarantee it. We will replace it free of charge. In addition to that, guys, that's not it. We include one brand new advertising topper. What is that? That is a screen that runs advertisements. Let me ask you this. How many of you guys have gone to a gas station and seen the screens with advertisements while you're pumping gas? I have. I literally just, just earlier today. It's that annoying advertisement. Guess what? That owner is actually making passive income from each of those screens. It's typically over $100 a month. How many of you guys want to make $100 a month passively for doing nothing in addition to the profits from your BTM? Comment me below. If you're interested in making an additional, I'm talking additional on top of all your profits, $100 a month for advertisements. Comment me below. These included advertising toppers. They actually display national ad campaigns. Imagine Amazon advertisements on your Bitcoin ATM. In addition to that, because that's not it, we got to make it as simple as possible for you guys. You get access to crypto elite services, which includes, and it's including but not limited to guys, dedicated group chat support, step-by-step -step walkthroughs on the actual business and exclusive clients only pricing. And guess what? We understand portfolios. Remember that example I gave you about having that cash ATM next to the Bitcoin ATM? That's the best way to deploy it. Use it as a portfolio. Take advantage. That customer pulls out 100 bucks. They get charged $3. And then they use that same $100 they got charged for by you to buy Bitcoin on your machine. Think about that. So we also include access to our elite ATM program. The one that's tried and proven with 1,500 plus clients. You get clients only pricing for cash ATMs, internet modems, and free processing with no contracts because we understand we need to take care of you. So you can get a Bitcoin ATM and place it right next to that cash ATM, guys. Think about that for a second. Now, there are two sources of revenue when it comes to the crypto elite automation program, guys. Two, okay? Not just the machine itself, two. The Bitcoin ATM itself, and based on our training experience, like I mentioned, and what we have seen, it's approximately $1,000 to $6,000 a month per machine, per location. Think about what that would pay for, guys. Rent, car payment, food, groceries, just from one machine. But that's not it. You get the advertising topper. And we expect that to be $100 or more. 
Take a second to think about that. It's going to be 2023. Digital marketing is the future. It is the absolute future, guys. Do not get left behind. Take advantage of your future with your Bitcoin ATM. Think about that. In addition to that, I mentioned two revenue streams. All right, I lied. There's a third. Cash ATMs. Remember, you have access to them. So literally, wherever you place a Bitcoin ATM, guess what you do? Put a machine right next to it. You're double dipping. That's infinity banking. So this is exactly how this works, guys. Okay. This is the step-by-step -step process how we will get your BTM business started. Okay. First, we're going to walk you through the LLC because it's extremely important in the business. Okay. We then will have EIN guidance, meaning that we'll show you how to obtain your EIN the cheapest and safest and fastest way. After that, we're going to have bank account guidance because it's hard to get into the industry, guys. We understand that. So we'll walk you through it and make sure you're compliant. Okay. After you get your bank account open, we're actually going to order your Bitcoin ATM package. It's include everything I mentioned. It is including that advertising topper where you're getting residual passive income from national advertising campaigns, your custom wrap. So it stands out at that business and the machine. In addition to that, we will then find your location. That is going to be about week four. We're going to find you a premium location like we found. We have found over 2,000 locations already in the industry. And I'm talking the United States, Hawaii, and Canada. After we find you that premium location, that's guaranteed, like I mentioned, we're then going to have a professional technician program and install your machine, guys, to make it as simple as possible for you. But that's not it. Because remember that cash inside, and it's typically about what, twenty dollars to $40,000? We don't want you to have to use that. So what we did was we risk our cash to put inside of that. So we'll actually purchase the crypto for you. In addition to that, we will have armored vehicles that fill and maintain your machine. Completely automated. You are the broker. You're the middleman. And then we will run your advertisements for you to put the cherry on top. And if you want to run your own and add your own advertising for local businesses, or maybe you own your own business, you could take advantage of that. And then all you do is view your profits from the online platform, guys. The last step for that is literally to scale your business, rinse and repeat. It's that simple. You can deploy your BTM. If you're in, if you're in New York City and you decide, you know what, I want to put it in Greensboro, North Carolina, you go ahead and do that. You want to put it in Denver, Colorado, you do that. Guys, the future is here. And this is a low five-figure investment, guys. But here's the thing, right? I'm, I have to keep it real. We're 100% transparent here. We only have a limited amount of BTMs. So we initially started with 20. Remember, I keep mentioning that we got three, we got three. Well, here's the thing, guys. We took three of those, okay, within the team because we're like, we, we believe in this. We invest in what we believe in, okay? So we only have 17 more BTMs left for December. The other ones will take two to three months to arrive just due to demand. Remember, it's the holiday season. Because we personally took advantage of this. So remember, the only thing stopping you is you, guys. Think about it. Motivation will fade, but your discipline remains. You have to take a step towards your future. This is one of our most recent clients, Sergio. Look what he posted. He didn't want to be comfortable. He didn't want to be mediocre. He saw his future. He's a young entrepreneur. He saw that it was time to make a change, just like how you see it's time to make a change. So are you going to let your comfort kill your dreams? Imagine someone telling you about Tesla, we'll say five years ago, saying this is the future, guys. I'm telling you. Somebody telling you about the gold rush. Imagine, and you blew them off, and you said, no, it's not it. Right now, we are telling you about the future. We are allowing you to invest in the gold rush. And you're not owning the mine. You're owning the shovels everyone's using. And you're, you don't care whether they get gold or not. You're making money either way, guys. 
So if you're ready to start your Bitcoin ATM business, or maybe just want more info, well, you can schedule a quick 10 to 15 minute call with our team. And let me put it this way. We believe so much in this. Paul himself is taking these calls along with myself because we want to make sure you get the absolute best info. So if you're interested and you say, you know what? This seems like my future. This is the vehicle that's going to take me to being that millionaire. Comment Bitcoin below. One of our team members will reach out. They'll provide you our guide and they'll give you a time to actually talk to us personally, guys. Remember, we are limited to 17 BTMs left. I'm telling you guys, take advantage. Comment below. And in case you guys didn't read this comment on the left, this was literally a message for my Instagram earlier today. The guy mentioned, he's like, hey, man, I was on my way home earlier this year. I stood by because I saw an old guy maxing out the VTM. He's taking advantage. It was in Oceanside. That's in Southern California, guys. Seeing that opened my eyes to it. The guy was in his 80s. The future is here, guys. Do not let this pass you up. Guys, thanks again for attending this live. Again, I am Getum Jonas. We'll be here back next Tuesday with some phenomenal new training. Enjoy the rest of your evening, guys. All right.